In this Node.js tutorial, we are going to look at the package.json file and how to create an npm package. An npm package is a great way to distribute a Node module that you have put together, and the package.json file facilitates this. Welcome to another tutorial from All Things JavaScript, where we help bridge the gap between novice and expert. To be notified about new tutorials, make sure to click that bell button and subscribe. Also, check out the discount links to all my courses that I've included in the description of this tutorial. In the most recent Node tutorial that I did, I mentioned the package.json file, but did not go into detail. We will look at how you set that up and how to create an NPM package in this tutorial. If you have not viewed the previous Node tutorials, I've included a link to the playlist in the description of this tutorial. Now, before we jump into this, let me show you what we have set up. Some code that we've included from one of the previous tutorials. Basically what we have here in the names.js file is a way to format names. This particular function here will take and list the first name and the last name. It'll take a name that's last name comma first name and it'll put it as first name last name. And this one here will just display the first name. So really simple, really simple, but it allows us to show what we can do with this module. So we've also exported both of those functions so that they're available outside of this. So now we can put this, package this, into an NPM package and thereby make it available for others to use in an easier way. So that's what we're going to look at. Now I have the names.js module, that file, set up in a names folder. And so that's where I'm going to navigate to in the terminal in order to begin setting up this package. All right, so first let me check where I'm at. All right, I need to go down one folder, so I'm going to change to the names folder. And there we have our names.js file showing up there. Now, the first thing you want to do when you're turning this into a package is you need to enter the command npm in it. This will initialize the folder into a package. And the way it does that is it begins creating the package.json file. And so it's going to prompt us for information to enter. And then based upon what we enter, it's going to create a package.json file and put it in that exact same folder. Now, some of the prompts already have values and we can accept those by simply pressing return. I'm going to keep the name of this package as names and then the version I'm going to keep as well, version one, and then a description. I'm just gonna put four mat names. And then entry point. Notice that it sees the names.js file inside the folder. And so by default it says, well, this is probably the entry point. This is the file you want to make the entry point for this module, and yes it is. And so I'm going to accept that by pressing return. Test command, we won't do anything with this entry and so I'm going to just press return there and I'll do that with the git repository as well we don't have that set up but we could and then keywords I'm just gonna put format name now this would be helpful if we wanted some keywords to allow people to search for this particular repository say we put it out on the NPM site and people wanted to search for that, then the keywords would be very helpful in that situation. And the author, put my name in there. And finally, the license will accept the default for that as well. Now what it does is it comes up and shows you the package.json file it's going to create, and then it asks, is this going to work? And we type yes if we want that to be written and it goes ahead and writes that out. So if we come back here into that name folder, we now have a package.json file, and we can see that it's written out the things which we put in there, just some of the default information. 
Now, one of the nice things about package.json is that it can keep track of dependencies for a particular module. So let's say with this module we have here, we're going to require another node module. And in the last tutorial, we talked about yargs. And so let's just say that we're going to be using that as a part of what we're doing here. So I'm just going to set this up really quick. Require the yargs module dot argv. And like I said, this is in the previous tutorial and I linked to the playlist for this so you can view what yargs does for us if you're interested. I'm not actually going to be using it here, but I just want to illustrate a point that the package.json will allow us to include dependencies, which I, which is a really important role that it plays. So I'm requiring yargs. I'm just going to save that. Now, in order to use it, we're going to need to install that module. So I'm going to come back out here to the terminal. And I'm going to do npm install. And then dash dash save. I'm going to force it to save information about this as a dependency in the package.json file. And then yargs is the package that I want to install. So I go ahead and press return. And it will go through the process of installing it. Now, if we come back and look at that folder, we now have a node modules folder in there. And what it did is it installed yargs and any dependencies that yargs had. Okay. And then also notice what it did in the package.json. Down here, it created a dependencies object right here. And notice it indicates yargs and it also indicates the version. And that can be helpful if in case a later version or something changes that would break it. This identifies which version is working with this module. So now we've got everything set up to make this a module. And now it's just a matter of making it available to others. So there's a couple ways to do that. If you have an account on npmjs.com then and you want to make this package publicly available, you could then publish it there. And you can do that with the npm publish command. So you'd log in to your account, then npm publish is what you would enter. Now, there are other ways to make it available without placing it out on their site. For example, if you have a Git repository, you could simply point people to the Git repository and they could do npm install and the URL for that repository to be able to install this module. That can also be done with a tarball file. So those are a couple of ways to make your module available to others. And when someone installs it from one of those locations, one of those possible locations, because of the dependencies that are entered here, it will also install any dependencies. That's one of the nice things about the dependencies available in package.json. There are also other nice things you can do in package.json with the scripts and so forth. So if you're curious in exploring more about package.json, you can do that on the npm.js website. So there's how you package up a known module and then a couple of ways to make that available to others so they can use that module if needed. All right, before we're done here, please hit the like button. And remember, I provided discount links to all my courses in the description section. If you would like to become a patron of this channel, there are additional benefits to certain levels. For example, you can get access to the code files I use at the member level. You can follow a link in the description to learn more about that. You can also contribute by visiting my website. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button or click the circle link on the left, one with my face. Also click the bell button to be notified about new releases. I release a new tutorial each week. You can click the video link in the center to access another tutorial right away or click the link on the right, visit my website, allthingsjavascript.com for a complete list of tutorials and courses. Thanks for watching.